Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today, we're having a look at a Panasonic phone system. So this is a Panasonic phone system. That's the case. You might have uh, something like this in your office. Uh, this one is a TDA 100, but the motherboard has been replaced. The CPU card here, it's called the IPC MPR, and it's been replaced with a TDE uh, generation card. Now these cards, they come with uh, four SIP trunks. So if you're using traditional phone lines right now and uh, you want to use uh, VoIP lines, well, this card probably supports it uh, for uh, lines right out of the box. If you want more than that, you're going to need to contact your Panasonic dealer. Now, if you don't know who your Panasonic dealer is, please give us a call over on this number. We're not Panasonic dealers, but we can get you in touch uh, with some. So please give us a call if you don't know who your dealer is, and I can get you in touch with someone that can help you with uh, the licenses. Um, okay, so licenses, you can get more. Now, the other thing you're going to need is this software. This is the Unified Maintenance Console. Now, this also is not available on the internet or anywhere else you have to get from a Panasonic dealer. So you should have it installed on a computer at your office along with the phone system and otherwise you're going to have to get it. Now uh, the American and Canadian phone systems are completely different. The software doesn't work between them. So if you somehow find a link to American software and you're going to use it with your Canadian Panasonic phone system, it's just not going to work. So again, contact your um, your Panasonic dealer here in Canada. Now, um, I'm going to presume a lot of this is already set up for you. Uh, so we're not going to get into details, details about how to set this up, uh, but we're just going to have a look at how the trunks are configured. So here's the software. I'm going to click on number one for slot. And then here you can see the layout. Now what's really great about the software is what you see on the screen is actually physically what you see in here as well. So if you are not sitting uh, next to your PBX, which is not normal, uh, you can see exactly what is set up. And that's great for remote access as well. So I'm going to click on this IPC MPR virtual slot and uh, select shelf. Now I've got a SIP GW SIP GW 16 slot here. You also know that there's a green dot up here. Uh, that means that the card is in service. Now, if you don't have this in here, uh, there's some options here, and then you can simply drag this over here for this card to show up like this. Now, I'm going to click on the uh, well, the first thing we need to do is click on this OUS. That means out of service. You can't make changes to the card unless it's out of service. So I'm going to click this. It's going to say, do you want to? And I say yes. And now you can see that green dot has now turned red. So we're going to go through all of the uh, different settings uh, here to configure a Heliotel uh, VoIP trunk on your system. Um, all right. Here we go, uh, SIP client port number. This is normally 3560, but I found uh, that there is some very complex um, uh, setup with the firewall to get it to work consistently. So best to change this to 5060, not traversal. This needs to be a fixed IP address. Now this is the static IP address of your firewall that you do not want to change. In my case, you can see it's down here. If you don't know what this is, uh, first of all, you, you probably need to call your uh, provider and uh, and then um, ask, make sure you do have a stack IP address because if your IP address changes, uh, your phone calls are going to stop working. So you need a stack IP address. Otherwise, if you know you have one, I go to IP Chicken. It tells me with what my IP address is. So we're going to um, take that, pop it in. This is going to be different for you, of course. Stunability is disabled. Uh, the SIP called party number check availability is disabled as well and the 100 rel ability is also disabled the timer section uh stays the same no changes there now i'm going to click cancel you're going to click ok um and well i'm going to click o2 okay i guess and uh, so the second option here is card property so um dns server uh we're not using dhcp 
uh, which means the network parameters are not automatically assigned. So this is going to be manual. I'm going to click here on common settings so I can change these. And so if you know what these are, if you're the network support person on your site, you'll know what these are. Otherwise, it's usually pretty safe to use 7777. That's the IBM Global Public DNS servers. And then for a second one, you can use 8888. Uh, and that's the Google uh, global public DNS server. The rest of this uh, can stay the same. Now I'm going to go cancel here because I believe making a change here is going to ask me to restart my system and uh, I I'm sure you guys don't want this video any longer than it needs to be. So you're going to want to click OK. I click cancel. If it asks you to reboot, uh, you're going to want to reboot. So I'm going to go to car uh, port pr uh, parameters here and now this is where all the meat and potatoes um, are for the system. System. So uh, while it's loading, uh, remind you to check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada and there's great videos there and please subscribe. As we get more videos, you get notified that the videos are up there. I know uh, we had uh, one fellow uh, where he had his Panasonic uh, lines for his phones, they were cut, they're underground and they're damaged and they're not working. Uh, and so we're gonna get a video up there on how you can take a wireless link or um, an IP link and connect uh, analog Panasonic phones um, across a wireless uh, link. So it's something interesting um, to do. And once we get that video up there, you'll get a notification when you are subscribed. Uh, YouTube.com slash Helia Canada. Okay, so you can see the connection is out of service. That's really important because otherwise uh, it's, you're not going to be able to make changes. Uh, the channel attribute, the first one we're going to configure and the next one it says here additional channel for slot one, channel one. So that means that these next three lines are exactly the same as this first one. So you can select here and you can say, okay, well, I want to add a different account for a different provider. And you would go in here and set this to basic and then fill in all the associate information. We're not going to do that. All four lines are going to be the same. So provider name is Heliotel Premium. Uh, our SIP server location, sbc2.heliotel.ca. Now this information is on our website, heliotel.ca, under Panasonic, so you see all the details there that you need to fill in. The subscriber number is on your welcome sheet that we send you with your phone line, uh, and that is uh, that is your primary phone number starting with a one. So it's 11 digits starting with a one. On the next page, this is your uh, the password for the trunk. And again, this is also on your welcome sheet. It's different for everybody. So uh, the username and authentication ID are the same. And typically, it's going to be your primary phone number and then authentication password. Under register, um, the register standing interval is 180 seconds. Uh, and so 180 seconds is three minutes. And what that means is the phone system will re-register itself uh, to make sure that phone calls can come in. If you leave it at 360, this is one hour. And uh, what happens is on a lot of firewall routers, not this equipment, but the firewall routers at your site uh, actually forget about the phone line connection. So your phone, you'll, you'll receive calls and then all of a sudden you won't and then you'll receive calls and all of a sudden you won't. So to make sure that doesn't happen, 180 um, seconds is what you should set this to. Uh, on our NAT, there's nothing changed there. Options here, uh, we have their diversion header is enabled. Uh, other than that, this is all pretty standard. Calling party, no changes here. Uh, called party, again, no changes here. Uh, voice and fax. Uh, this is important. The IP codec priority. Uh, it's set to G711MU. That MU is actually MU. And in most phone systems and most telecommunication, you'll actually see this written as 711 uh, U. And it's not actually U, it's at the Greek letter Mu. And that's why Panasonic has put MU here. Uh, but this is the most common codec in North America, and the codec has to be supported and matched 
all the way from the Panasonic to the phone line server to the public telephone network to uh, whatever equipment is on the far side. And if you're going to use a different codec that and one of those pieces of equipment doesn't support that codec, you're going to end up with support problems. So uh, best just to leave it as uh, uh, 7-Eleven Moo and then turn off your second and third one. Okay, other than that, this is all pretty straightforward here. Uh, no other changes. RTP, R uh, RTCP, uh, this is all standard as well. T.38 is a fax standard. Now we're not doing fax over IP, so we're gonna skip over this. We don't need this as well. DSP, very standard as well. And then supplemental service, uh, no changes here either so that's all pretty standard we're going to click ok uh, and you can see the red dot here is still out of service we're going to go click on here for in service and then we're going to uh, and so you can see the green light has happened we're going to click on port properties just to confirm that the lines now are in service Okay, so um, again, uh, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Canada, and subscribe that way as we do get new videos, uh, you'll get uh, notifications. Also, tons of great uh, commercial infrastructure, wireless links for connecting buildings together without running cables, and lots of stuff we've done over the last 10 years. So uh, check it out. Okay, so you can see here the connection is now INS, which means in service, and that means that things have connected properly. So I'm gonna click cancel to get out of this. We're gonna go down here to number 10, CO and in incoming calls. I'm gonna click on this number three DDI or DID table. And uh, what you'll see is I've got a phone number here. So this is the, the, the pilot number, the main number that's been assigned to this account. And this is saying when the phone system sees the number here, um, it's going to route it to extension 102. So that's this phone up here. So you can uh, set this up however you want with whatever extension you want. But in this case, really simple call comes in from this number it's going to go up here so first thing i'm going to do is place an outbound call for testing um, we're going to go and pick a line and call my cell phone and so you can see the numbers coming up here so we're going to answer that testing 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 so it's working i'm going to hang up that call and uh, then we're going to call from my cell phone. So we're going to try an inbound call. So I'm going to call here from here. And you can see the phone is ringing up here. So now we can answer this. Hello, hello, hello. And so we can hear two-way audio again. And so we're getting both inbound and outbound uh, calling working. Uh, I think that's, that's everything. If you are having problems with your Panasonic phone system, again, please give us a call on the side. We're not Panasonic dealers, but I can get you in contact with them, Canadian Panasonic dealers here. If you're having problems with configuring your Heliotel premium trunks, again, call the number over here. Uh, we'll uh, connect up remotely and be able to get your trunks con configured properly. Uh, and there is lots of great information on that. So Heliotel.ca, our YouTube channel is is, uh, is youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Um, and, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If you have issues, please give us uh, a call. Help, happy to help out with that. And otherwise, uh, I'm Darzuk with the Helia Technology Report. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.